What is going on guys? I thought today we would take it a little bit more slowly um, just in case you want to still get a little bit of movement in but you're kind of feeling sore and achy like I am myself today. So try and take some notes from my body and take it easy but still get a little bit of movement in. So today's just going to be mostly a little yoga slash workout flow that you guys can do just on your mat. That's the only equipment that you'll need. And you'll get a little bit of heat in the body, a little bit of movement, a little bit of core, a little bit of stabilizer stuff. And I think it'll be good for everybody. So we're gonna start off in our tabletop position. You're gonna stack your wrists under your shoulders, knees under hips. Really thinking about lengthening through our spines, so we're relaxing our shoulders down away from our ears. We're zipping up our belly button towards our spine so that we can create a nice strong base for ourselves through the back body. We're gonna come into some bird dogs here. So we're gonna extend right hand, followed by left leg. Back heel is active, so toes drawing down to keep the back glute engaged. We're keeping our hips nice and square. We're not dumping to one side. And we're really just focusing on reaching more than shooting up. So reaching out as far as we can, relax back down. So we're gonna go inhale to lengthen and exhale to release back down. We're gonna go through that 10 times per side, so 20 total. We're at 50 now, last five. Good, last two, one more per side. Beautiful. We're gonna step the hands back down. We're gonna rinse it out with a few cat cows. So inhale, send the gaze up to the sky, drop the belly towards the ground. And exhale, moving from the base of your spine, rolling, rounding through the spine, through the body, tuck chin to chest. Inhale, rise back up. And exhale, tailbone through the length of the spine, all the way towards the chin. Rounds through one more time. And gently come back to a nice tabletop position. We're holding it here. We're going to get into our hip flexors. This is a good one to help strengthen your hip flexors. Um, I have been using this as a rehab move for my bad hips. So you're going to take your left leg into the midline of your tabletop position. That right knee is going to come out to the side, kind of like we're coming into a fire hydrant. So you're peeing like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Knees coming right out to you, 90 degree angle with the leg. And then you're going to rotate it back by squeezing the glute and then dip it back through. So we're essentially making little rotations with our hips doing a little circle, drawing it with our knee. We're gonna go five times per direction per side. Really focusing on if you were lifting your leg over something, you're keeping it lifted the whole time. So it's never gonna run into that invisible object. One more time to a good manager. Beautiful, and then you're gonna switch it on up. So you're gonna kick your leg up so that your knee is still a 90 degree angle. Rotate it out, come through, 
and then back down. We're essentially doing that same movement. Woo! A little crack of the hip. It's popping and locking here, guys. Always popping and locking. Granny glute is in full effect. Good, one more. Beauty. You're gonna set it down. You're gonna take your other leg out into that tabletop position, reset, and then draw the right knee into the midline. Same thing, just other side. Externally rotating that knee out away from yourselves, keeping it raised up, really keeping the glute engaged and active here. Beautiful, other direction, kick the heel up, rotate out, come back through. And you may see that you were trying to dip to one side, try to straighten up. I know this is my tendency as well, to try to avoid the pain and just let my glutes and put all the pressure on my other hip. But we want to try straight, nice and strong through that core as best as we can. Beauty. Come back to the tabletop position. You're going to tuck your toes up and under. You're going to send your hips nice and high. Pedal out the legs as much as you need to. Separate the fingers. Take up all the space on the mat with those hands. And find any gentle movements that you need to at this time. It may look like taking your feet as wide as your mat and swinging hips to side to side. Shaking out the tail. Or maybe it's just pedaling up the legs. We're thinking about consciously rolling our shoulders down away from our ears and spreading the back body apart, creating space in between the shoulder blades. We're going to come to a nice stationary position, whether you're here or here. Step that left leg into the midline, sweep the right leg up nice and high. We're going to draw our right knee towards right elbow on the exhale. So inhale, we lengthen, kick the heel, keep it nice and active, and on the exhale, we come into that crunch. We're going for five per side. Good, and gently release down, step it apart. If at this time you want to go down to child's pose, go and do that, whatever you need to. If not, find your happy place here in Downward Defacing Dog. Awesome, set your feet into your stationary position. Right foot comes in the midline, right or left heel kicks up towards the sky. Draw the elbow or knee into the elbow. Inhale as we lengthen. Exhale as we come into crunch. Three more times. Kick it up. Send the feet nice and wide. Come into down dog or child's pose. Do whatever you need to do. Breathe it out. Beautiful. All right, next variation. Left heel goes into the midline. Right heel comes up towards the sky. We're gonna go cross body crunch this time. Inhale here. Exhale as we take that right knee towards the left elbow. Inhale. And exhale, squeeze the core. Last one. And step into your child's pose or into downward facing dog.
Beautiful, we're gonna go into the other side. So right foot's gonna kick into that midline, left leg kicks up towards the sky, draw the left knee in towards the right elbow, squeeze the core. Last one. And step the feet into downward facing dog. Bend up knees and gently come down into a child's pose. Relax out here, relax the shoulders. Relax the back body, relax the legs. Gently come on up into a plank position. Making sure that our tailbone is tucked up and under, we're squeezing the core. We're gonna gently release the knees towards the ground, tapping them slightly and then stepping back right into that plank position. We're gonna go here for 10. Once you hit 10, we're going to drop down to our elbows. You're going to gently seesaw your left hand towards that right elbow. And we're going to tip onto our side, our left arm, coming into a side plank. So if you need to, you can kick that front leg in front of you as a kickstand, or bottom leg out as a kickstand. Whatever you need to do, even take that bottom leg into a bent position. But we're still drawing the energy up through the hips, raising it up towards the sky. We're going to hold it here for 20 seconds. And then gently rotate back down. Come back into that plank position. You guys got this. Stay with me. And we're gonna go 10 more knee dips. Squeezing the belly button towards the spine. Last one. And done, come down to your elbows. Seesaw that right elbow out. Find the side plank on the other side. Hold it here, lifting the hips, squeezing the obliques, 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to your elbows. And then set the knees down. Push back into a child's pose. Gently, we're gonna walk our hands forward. We're gonna come onto our belly. So lengthen the legs if you need to. Starting here in Sphinx Pose, just finding a little bit of a gentle back bend as we catch our breath. Spreading the fingertips nice and wide. Elbows are located right under our shoulders. And we're thinking about lengthening our spine all the way through the crown of the head, 
melting the shoulders down away from the ears and relaxing the glutes. our forehead towards the ground, hands up to our sides. Coming into a little T position. We're going to come into a locust position, but we're going to have very active arms throughout this. With the active arms, we're going to be focusing on squeezing our scapula, so our shoulder blades together, to keep our shoulders raised off the ground so we can find mobility from one point to the other. So we're going to lift our legs off the ground, lift our chest, hands are going to be starting up by our sides, you're going to rotate them in front of you and then rotate out them behind, palms facing up. So we're kind of finding reverse snow angels here as we're lifting everything and keeping everything nice and static. We're going to go here for 10. We're at four, five, six. Squeeze the back body, squeeze the glutes. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Relax everything to the ground. Hands by your sides, palms facing up. Find your breath. Gently take your palms up to your sides. We're going to flow through some active scorpion poses. So right leg is going to go towards left. Big inhale. Exhale, roll onto the belly. Find the stretch on the other side. We're going to roll side to side for 10 total. Putting a little tap of the, the toe on the floor. Finding a stretch through the chest, through the shoulders. Through center, bring your hands under the shoulders, push back into upper dog, and then push backwards into downward facing, or not downward facing dog, sorry, child's pose. Relax it here. with our left leg in front of us and right leg behind. So we'll kind of into a little 90 degree angle of each knee. And we're gonna find some knee shifts here. So we're gonna kind of windshield wiper back and forth. If you wanna make this more difficult, you can take your hands out in front of you and kind of keep the core engaged as we move side to side. If you aren't at that point yet, hands behind you, keeping yourself nice and angry. We're gonna windshield flight for the legs out. Opening up the hips. Moving here intentionally, guys. We've been uh, crushing the workouts and our bodies are feeling it. At least I am. Can't speak on all of your behalf. But when we're changing up our routine a little bit, we often have this period of Oh shit, <laughs> this is painful. I'm definitely feeling it. All right, so if your hands are out in front of you, keep continuing that. If not, hands behind you. And we're gonna come into a variation where we're gonna lift our glutes off the ground. So if your hands are behind you, bring them out in front. You're gonna anchor through both knees, squeeze the glutes, Push forward, push the hips forward. Come back down, roll to the other side, either variation, same thing. Push the glutes forward, push the hips forward. Rotate side to side. We're gonna go here five times per side, so we're on the third. You might travel a little bit, which I don't love. This is why I like our mats at the gym. 
You can go wherever the hell you want. It's the best. Good, last time, side to side. Beauty. And come back through center. You guys, that is it for me today. Um, I don't have much planned. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of heat, a little bit of movement, but nothing too too impactful on the body to the point where we're causing an influx of even more soreness. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys enjoyed working out with me today because literally that's all I'm doing today. So other than maybe taking a walk if this wind calms its stuff down. We'll see. Anyways guys, I wish I could be here with you all, give you guys high fives, but for now, virtual high fives all around, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.